Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with um, some alternative looks. I'm doing a look book, a look book today. Um, I've done them in the past, and uh, usually there are a couple of different palettes that I haven't really had time to play with a lot. So I'll go ahead and do a, um, a couple of different looks all together and call it a look book. And it used to be way back in the days. Um, before the internet, before fancy glossy magazines, um, they, you know, if somebody got together uh, a collection of dresses, they would have an artist sketch out uh, the dresses on models, and then that would be what they would send around to people to uh, show them what they had to sell. So it's a lookbook, and um, I'm doing with my. Mine with makeup instead of uh, textiles or dresses or whatever. So, um, yeah. So, um, again, it is a lookbook. And uh, what I decided to do was grab my newer palettes that I hadn't had time to play with and go ahead and do looks um, that aren't the main focus of the palette. Um, every palette has a color story to it, and you, you know, you see the colors that are dominant that, you know, everybody's going to be using, and there are always a whole bunch of colors that aren't dominant that are, you know, there to add a pop of color or a sparkle or whatever, and that's kind of what I'm doing all my looks with today. So, to go ahead and get started, to go ahead and use the Super Goop with the SPF 50 in there. And I did go ahead and use a couple of base products. I used the Glow Serum. Uh, this one's by Hard Candy. It's primer. has a little bit of bronze in it, so it makes me a little bit, gives me a little bit of color in the face. And then I did go ahead and use Revolution Skin Silk. Mine's in F2, and it is a cool color. As far as what I did for the lips, I used the AOA uh, Buttery Blur, and so that's what I have on as my lipstick. AOA you can get on the Miss A website, and they were one of the first uh, dollar makeup companies ever. And then I did go ahead and use the NYX Butter Gloss, this is the bling one, and these are really fun. They're over at... Um, Alta right now, and right now Alta is having a buy two, get one free on the next, so that's always fun. And then I have the Hard Candy Insta Pout and Sun Kissed, and with this one, it's actually a lip plumper, and it's a cool one, so it isn't that stingy kind of thing. As far as what I did for the, uh, yeah, for the bronzer today, I went ahead and used the next, this Buttercup. And so Buttercup is what I have on there. And then I did go ahead and use Rare Beauty Hope. This is one of their newer blushes. It has a highlighter included in it. But I did go ahead and add some more highlighter on top because, yeah, I'm a highlighter girly. I like lots of highlighter. So this is Unusual Beauty. I picked this up over at Timio. It's one of their highlighter palettes. And I actually have this one on today. So that's what I have on there. And then the uh, palette that I'm doing the alternative look with is the Jewels and Gems by Odin's Eye. And so this is the palette. What I did today was I went ahead and started with this one in my crease. Um, then I went ahead and put this one on the lid. Uh, this one on the outer corner. Uh, I went ahead and did this one on the inner corner from here to here. And then from here over to here. Uh, this is actually a duochrome. It looks white in the pan, but it goes orange. And so I think that's all the eyeshadows that I used. Yeah. Um, no, I did a little bit of this on the outer corner as well. So like I said, when I pick up this palette, um, I usually go for the purples and the blues. I mean, I like doing cool tone looks. And so when I thought about doing an alternative look for this palette, Okay, so it's Adrian back again with a different eye look and uh, the same base. Um, I just went ahead and put a little bit more of the L'Oreal True Match as far as the base for the eyeshadow. And, um, and the mascara that I'm using is the Essence Lash Without Limits, and I added a little bit more of that on as well. 
Uh, the only thing that I really took off was the eye makeup, and um, I also had that Essence Thick and Wow on as well as far as the eyebrow gel. And so as far as the palette that I'm working with this time, again, Odin's Eye Christmas Eve palette. And so uh, what I did this time was I always work on this side of the palette because I love the cool tones in this palette. So I don't usually work with the warmer tones that are in here. And what I did today was I went ahead and used this one in the crease, this one in the outer corner, this one on the inner corner. Then I use this green under the eye as an eyeliner and um, also on the outer corner as an eyeliner as well. And I think that's all I used. You know what, we could go ahead and put a little bit of this one in there as well. See if we can deepen it up a little bit more. So now there's uh, some of this in the outer corner down at the bottom, and this way that the eye look came out. And things are falling up there. Okay, um, so anyway, uh, this is the palette, and like I said, I always go ahead and do a cool tone look with this palette. It's Odin's Eye. Odin's Eye has a great formula. I love their um, micro sparkles. They're... Um, yeah, Micro Glimmer, and this shade right here is one of my all-time favorites. It has all sorts of little Micro Glimmers in it, and it's great to put on top of anything, especially, oh, especially a shade like this. You put these Micro Glimmers on top of this, really, really pretty. Um, but this is gorgeous, too. Odin's Eye has a beautiful formula, a very different formula than anything that I found in the U.S., and um, I like it a lot. Their uh, mattes are a lot drier than what I'm used to, but they don't have nearly as much kick up as what I'm used to, and they're, I mean, just the pigment, the, 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 the pigment in the shimmer, it's just absolutely gorgeous, and yeah, you can ask for for a better blend or, uh, you know, more shimmer. Uh, yeah, Odin's Eye is one of those great makeup, or great eyeshadow companies, yeah. Okay, so like I said, I didn't change anything else. Only thing I changed was the eye look. Another look, and I did go ahead and use the Kiss Eyeshadow Palette on this one. I did use the Latch Without Limits again, and the, uh, Essence Thick and Wow in, um, let's see, this one is actually in Caramel Blonde. And um, yeah, I went ahead and I played a lot with this look. So I um, went ahead and used Rare Beauty in Truth. Or, yeah, in Truth. So that's what I have on there. Um, I did use the Unusual Beauty Highlighter Palette from Temu, and I did go ahead and use these two colors as far as my highlighter. So I did change it up a little bit on the cheeks. As far as what I used, I um, did go ahead and use Rock, well, the Kiss Palette, and uh, Glam Light does go ahead and have the holographic packaging, which is, yeah, I could play with that forever. Uh, this is what I used as far as eyeliner. Went ahead and used this on the crease, this one on the lid, then these two in the outer corner. So I did go ahead and use the whole purple row there. Um, I did go ahead and add in a shadow just because everything in that palette is so dark. The, this is the Feel Shadow. It's a multi-chrome from Luxi, and uh, Luxi is L-O-O-X-I. You can get these on their website. I don't think they actually do palette shit, but they do a whole bunch of multi-chromes. They call them Auroras, and uh, this way the eye look came out. So again, purple, purple, purple. Purple, 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 and I just hadn't had a chance to play with the purple in the Kiss palette. And Glamlight does really, really good. Um, they have a good formula all together. They have a whole bunch of pigment in their formula, and really blendable. Um, so, just wish they'd do a couple more lighter shades that I can play with. 
to help balance things out. Um, but I always love using their eyeshadows. And other than that, I think that's all that I have for today. I hope that you've enjoyed the lookbook kind of thing and getting to see some... Uh, Hi, it's Adrian back again, and I still have the same um, base on. I did go ahead and use the Wow Lash Without Limits, side mine in black. This is by Essence. It's a new one. I'm liking it quite a lot. And then I was going to see if I could find some of my other... No, this isn't it. Ah, give me just a second here. I um, When I was over at Ulta, they had their bling. Found them. Uh, the NYX Bling, and they're the butter glosses, but they have glitter in them. And so uh, they have a couple of different ones. Uh, the one that I had on before was this one. And I thought I'd go ahead and put this one on. I think they're really pretty. And uh, not all of them have a lot of uh, base color to them. I think the gold one is more glitter. doesn't have a lot of base color. This one, however, does have a lot of base. So it gives you the glitter plus, you know, something. Um, but like with this one, I've been going ahead and putting on a peach lipstick and then putting this one over the top of it. It's really, really pretty. like it a lot. And then as far as what I did the look with, um, I had picked up the uh, Nomad Iceland Fire and Ice palette. And so this is actually a new palette to me. It's been out for a while. Um, but I always tend to go ahead and gravitate over to the cool colors over here. So I thought I'd go ahead and work over here. And so I started with this one in my crease. I went ahead and put this one on the outer corner. Then I did uh, this on the lid, and this one right up, yeah, right up in this area right here. And then I did use, uh, this is the eyeliner underneath as well. And I think it came out as really pretty look. Uh, this palette is actually being discontinued, so I don't know if it's still available. I think I got these about a month, two months ago. And um, so this way that this worked out and so yeah that's the look um, I wasn't expecting it to turn out uh, this kind of murky and I can okay so uh, this is the last one and um, Okay, so I decided to go ahead and do a look with the Dream Gaze palette as well. This is by Alter Ego, and it's a really cute palette. Um, I always tend to go for this side of the palette, so I worked all in uh, this side. So I used this on the outer corner. I went ahead and used uh, this one actually on the crease, uh, this one for the eyeliner, and then I used uh, this one on the inner corner did a little bit of this right along in here and then um, a little bit of this as well. Um, I did go ahead and use a little bit of this right under the brow as a brow highlight and um, yeah these two are the main ones that I may have on the interior part of the eye and so this way that it came out and so pretty pretty. Um, I do have the truth on as far as uh, the actual blush that I have on right now and as far as the highlighter uh, let's go back to this one and we'll go ahead and add a little bit of this on to give it a little bit more of the pinky. So yeah there we go. A little bit of highlighter in there to go with it. And yeah, cute little pinky look, little uh, pinky purple kind of look, and a little bit of red thrown in. 
so this way the look turned out and um, I think that'll do it for the yeah the lookbook and I'm actually glad that I decided to do this one last look so I'll see you later bye